Welcome to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. The School of the Art Institute of Chicago is one of the best art schools in the world. My name is Kyle O'Connell. I am the Director of Enrollment Analytics and Forecasting at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. And today we are in the 280 building on the third floor in our painting studios. And today's a school day. Uh, the studios are actively being used and folks are making paintings right on the other sides of these walls. Art is happening. For SPR's 50th anniversary, we thought it would be really cool to give back to the community. And specifically what we wanted to do was to give $50,000 of AI or ML services to an organization that's doing something good for the community. We received a bunch of applications and unanimously we selected the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and we couldn't be happier that they were selected. We had an opportunity to help them better predict what students would actually enroll at the school and therefore we could help young artists get a world-class education at SAIC where maybe they wouldn't have otherwise without this technology deployed. We were in the midst of a process of really trying to diversify our class and make sure students of all socioeconomic backgrounds had the opportunity to come here and be successful. A number of years ago, I'd done a machine learning project independently, and at the end of the project, what I had learned was the data that would be really helpful to us hadn't been collected, and we were missing some key parts. I'm basically like sitting here waiting, like, when's the next time I get a crack at building the model? And it was just at the time that I was gonna try again, where I found out about the giveaway, and I thought, if I can get some help, I'm gonna take it. SAIC was really interested in figuring out which factors ultimately uh, led to students enrolling in the university. So students apply, then they're offered admission. And some students will ultimately end up at SAIC and some won't. And they were really interested in how those two groups were different from each other. Obviously that determines their class load for the following term. 80% of any data science project is data engineering. What data engineering means is bringing the data in, multiple data sources in that's often formatted in different ways and putting that data together and joining it together into one data set in a format that can be fed into a machine learning model. A lot of the art of data science is taking the data and manipulating it in a way so that these algorithms can interpret it. There's simple things like what is the student's GPA and how does that affect their propensity to enroll? But there's other things like what country are they from or uh, what high school did they go to? And those things have to be manipulated a little bit so that the algorithm can start understanding them in numbers. And from there, you start to understand the influencers to either enroll or not enroll, and you really work on refining those to make your model as accurate as possible. Machine learning and artificial intelligence really has never been more in vogue, which is kind of silly when you think about it because it's really talking about a bunch of really advanced math, which was never cool when I was growing up. But I think the reality is, people who don't use machine learning or artificial intelligence will start to fall behind in this competitive race. And anytime you fall behind in any race, you have to work twice as hard to catch up to your competitors. I've been at the school for 15 years and you kind of feel like you know everything and, and you don't, right? When you get really smart people like from SPR who come in and just dig, dig, dig in the data. We were pretty ecstatic when I realized that things were starting to make sense to me and what they were doing was gonna add huge value to us. SPR helped challenge my assumptions about what I thought I would find. I get stuck in the mentality that's specific to the school, and that is that SAIC is an interdisciplinary place. When you come here, there's not boundaries between studio departments. To an outside perspective, like the folks I was working with at SPR, that wasn't an assumption they were making. They were just telling me like, we should look at this, pay attention to this. And the model helped identify that and reveal like, hey, this is an important piece of information. Keep track of this. You have to put yourself in a room with people that are smarter than you in certain things. So I'm looking for those experts. I want to sit here with those who have a lot more experience and take what I can. This project has had a huge impact on our strategy. Hopefully we make better admission decisions, have a better yield, and make sure that we welcome uh, the best students to the school next fall. Even if it's just one student, that gets an opportunity to go to the school because they're given this chance to have some funds available, I think that's amazing. I think that's the sort of value that we're hoping to give to the school and to the community. SPR delivered two really important things. One was the narrative insights that I could tell my boss or tell other folks that work in the department, tell us why this project is important. But the other thing that they gave me was the code to be able to merge my various sets of data together and repeat the exercise 
in different situations in the future quickly. And without them, that wouldn't be possible. The most important thing to me was that SPR wanted it. They were willing to do it. And it was really because they wanted to get the job done right. It wasn't just checking a box and doing this you know, pro bono effort for us. They wanted to get it done right and they wanted to give us really good information. And so for that, I'm eternally grateful.